time to choose what heat press to use. Should we use heat press number one, the 15 by 15 craft press? You can still get into sublimation, guys. You can still get in. Only thing you gotta do is boom. Wait a minute, just like that. Boom, 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 boom. Just like that. A-A-A-A-Dub Productions. Just like that. Like, comment, subscribe. Just like that. Boom. Wait a minute, just like that. A-Dub, you ready? Wait a minute. Hey guys, what's up? Alan Wade here with another video. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. Guys, out of all the ways that we decorate garments, uh, embroidery, uh, heat transfer vinyl, by far, sublimation, there's nothing like the first time you sublimate it onto a garment. Right or wrong. It's almost like it's magic. It's like the ink fuses with the material and you just think, wow, this is amazing, right? Right or wrong, in the comment section down below. Let me know, how did you feel when you first, when you did your first, first sublimation? So, today we are going to be using our SG500 and we're gonna be printing out some prints from a return customer. Uh, we gotta do 15 shirts and we're gonna do Sawgrass SG500. By the way, Heat Transfer Warehouse has some Sawgrass SG1000s in stock, so if you're interested, if you watch this video and you're interested at all, use my Heat Transfer Warehouse link down in the description below to purchase yours. I'm a Heat Transfer Warehouse affiliate, and anytime you use my link, I get a small commission, and that's how I maintain this channel, guys. So we have 15 of our Gildan, I think these are G4, G420s right here. These are like the silky type shirts. They're really like silky and athletic, if you will. 100% polyester, and we're gonna sublimate onto them. Guys, now, this is one of the things that I always tell you guys, when you are starting your t-shirt business or something like that, right, or garment decorate, we're just gonna, just gonna say garment decorating, you only need, to be honest with you guys, a few repeat clients that come to you on a consistent basis in order to pay for your gear and pay for your uh, business expense and for you to make a profit, guys. I have a few clients that always buy stuff from me and this is one of them. Uh, I think I might have made these shirts on a video before. I'm not entirely sure, but if I did, we're going to see it again. I don't think I did, though. But so um, we're going to get started. Let's uh, jump into Sawgrass Creative Studio. And when we, after we print this up, we got some decisions that we're going to make. Uh, we're going to need to decide what heat press we're going to use. So, um, Let's just jump into Sawgrass Studio and start this printing. If you haven't done so already, please hit that like button. I greatly appreciate it, thank you. We are in Creative Studio right now. You're looking at my screen and I've already measured out my design to see how big I want it on the shirt. I want it about, what did I say, 10 inches? Yeah, about 10 inches wide. And so I'm gonna go ahead and use my uh, eight and a half by 11 inch regular paper. So go over to Creative Studio Click on the Creative Studio after you've logged in. One of the things I like about Sawgrass uh, whole ecosystem is that sometimes um, when you do it like with other sublimation printers that don't have software or converted sublimation printers, you have to deal with Photoshop and getting the proper settings and stuff like that, which I still haven't done. So, so stay tuned, guys. Um, I'm gonna learn how to print from the Sawgrass through Photoshop for you guys. So uh, stay tuned for that video. But in the meantime, let's just go ahead and print out this because this is supposed to be a quick video creation. I'm gonna go to galleries and my images. I know I've done this design before. So it's in here. Here it is right here. Quick and easy design. Let's click on it. Oh, actually I go to start create, start creating. And then I'm going to go to pick a paper, which is eight and a half by um, 11. So let me find an eight and a half by 11 setting eight and a half by 11 portrait. All right, so here we go. Eight and a half by 11, right there. And then I'm going to, after I got my eight and a half by 11 uh, canvas, I'm gonna go ahead and go to galleries and I'm gonna go ahead to my images. I'm gonna scroll all the way down till I find my image that I wanna work on. Here it is, I click once and it loads it up. I'm gonna rotate it, all right. And let me see if I can get two on one, on one sheet. That would be really, really efficient if I could. That's how you really, really save money, guys. You 
gang sheet stuff. All right, so, but first we wanna see the size of it. Um, so we're gonna put inches right here and we want this to be 10 inches. All right, 10 inches wide, inches right here. So let's go ahead and make it bigger. Now, I think when I make it bigger, it's, it's see how it's scaling and it's maintaining the, the right aspect ratio. That's what you want, all right? You don't want to stretch it. All right, so 10.1, that's cool. And then I'm going to duplicate it, and I'm definitely going to put one at the bottom. All right, so I go over here, and I just press duplicate. And then I put another one right here. Now we are cooking on gas. I'm going to do 14 shirts. I think he said, no, he said 15 shirts, all right? So I'm going to print out about eight of these papers right here because uh, seven times two is 14 and I'm gonna need uh, 15 of these. So I'm gonna have one left over, which is always good to have one left over. Uh, I'm gonna, for this client, since it's a return client, they keep on coming back, I am just going to give them one shirt, all right? So that's gonna be dope. I'm gonna give them one for free. All right, so now that we got this all set up, we've duplicated, we got two on um, each sheet, we're saving money right here. We're gonna go ahead and press print and it's gonna open up print manager right here. The print settings rather. I'm gonna go ahead and choose the sawgrass that's online, which is, uh, I'll just choose this one right here. All right, tray one, letter size, that's fine. And mirror is on. I'm gonna sublimate onto polyester, All right? And I'm using the what am I using? Text print R paper. High quality is fine. Vivid and color palette disabled. I'm gonna go ahead and press print. And it's gonna take a little while. I've already launched print manager, so print manager should pop up uh, faster than normal. You wait for this message right here. Print has been successfully queued. Press OK. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on print manager so that when it finally opens up, it populates on the front of the screen so we can see that it popped up, okay? Now, you wanna make sure that your Sawgrass SG500 or SG1000, whichever you're working on, you've already assigned the proper paper size that you're using, which is eight and a half by 11, and I've already done so. So we're just waiting for Print Manager to open up right now. Dub Productions. So our Print Manager is opened up. We have our eight and a half by 11 paper. Everything is in the um within the parameters of the print right um we have polyester high quality text print r tray now we want to go to jobs and we're going to print out how many we're going to we're going to select how many we want to print out i said seven seven is seven times two is 14 we're going to do uh eight actually because we need 15 so we're going to have one extra print because it's going to leave us with eight and eight 16 16 printouts all right so that's basically it. It's all set up and ready to go. Um, you can go through these and just familiarize yourself with the different um, settings in here. All right, but everything looks fine. All right, so I'm just gonna press print and print manager should uh, send it to the printer and it should start printing out. Just press print. There it goes, it's sent. And let's see. See the SG500 doing its thing. It's gonna go ahead and print out 14. You don't even have to wait. You can walk away and get yourself something to eat or something like that while the SG500 just goes on and prints all of your papers out that are going to be sublimated on. Um, pretty cool. Love this machine. Like I said, uh, I've never had any problems with it at all. Uh, when I first got it, you know, I don't, uh, there, there isn't really a learning curve. <laughs> if you've used a printer, you're gonna be fine with this. Um, I would highly recommend it if you're getting into the sublimation. Those of you guys that have never done sublimation, prepare to be amazed. You are going to be amazed when you see exactly what happens in this whole process. You pretty much only need butcher paper, the stuff called butcher paper, um, and a sublimation printer and a heat press, and you're pretty much good to go. They have uh, websites like Vexels. If you're not a graphic designer and you don't have access to graphics and stuff like that, you can get a membership to Vexels and you have access to their whole digital library of a whole bunch of different designs that you can use 
royalty free to start your business and you can start pressing up shirts and selling them on your website using Vexels designs just because you have a membership. So the Vexels affiliate link will be down in the description below also guys. So check that out if you're interested in that. Like I said, the SG-1000 is in stock right now at Heat Transfer Warehouse. So go ahead and get yourself a SG-500. So we're all printed out. Let me grab all sheets, all of my sheets. You see the design, it's mirrored. One, two, three, so on and so forth. Let's grab the sheets and let's cut them in half. If you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. Thank you. Man, listen, when I did my first sublimation, I just knew that it was on and popping. Um, it was like magic to me. I was like so excited because it really is a dope method of making shirts. The only downside is you're limited to only uh, being able to sublimate on light colors, right? And it, the results, it works best on 100% polyester. Of course, you can use other materials. Um, well, I won't say other materials, but materials that have a high polyester count, you can use those to sublimate onto also. But for the most part, you are limited to using 100% um, polyester and stuff like that. Or like I said, materials that have a high poly count, right? So you can use like 50-50, 50% cotton, 50% polyester. But I've done a video sublimating onto 100% cotton without being treated. And let's just say it wasn't so vibrant. Um, the lower the polyester count of the shirt, the less vibrant your sublimation is going to come out, right? But we got all, what do we got? Uh, eight and eight, we got 16 printouts right here. So now the only thing we got to do now is pick which heat press we're going to use. Hmm time to choose what heat press to use. Should we use heat press number one, the 15 by 15 craft press by Heat Press Nation? Should we use that one with the slide out drawer? I like that one. A little bit of problems with it. Made a whole video about it, check it out. But, or should we use heat press number two, 15 by 15 voila press from Heat Trans Warehouse, slide out drawer. All these heat presses have slide out drawers, guys and all the affiliate links will be down below if you'd like to check out any of these heat presses for your business. What about heat press number three from Heat Press Nation, 15 by 15 signature series with the slide out drawer, auto open and shore press. Should we use that one? I love that heat press. That's probably one of the most favorite, my most favorite heat presses. Or heat press number four, which is our 16 by 20 signature series uh slide out drawer with the auto open feature 16 by 20. decisions decisions hmm which one do you think if you were in my shoes which heat press would you use right now so our heat press is all heated up if you look right here we have uh typically they say 400 degrees for 70 seconds um, no, 400 degrees for 60 seconds. I'm sorry. I have my heat press set to 390 degrees for 65 seconds. That's just my preference, guys. So, uh, you guys can, you know, do whichever you feel like doing. So, let me just set up my first shirt and we're going to press our first shirt. This is one thing I like about the slide out drawer. You can slide it out and you can prep. I've already inserted the uh, butcher paper on the inside of all of my paper of all of my shirts right here. So if I show you guys right here, you see one piece of butcher paper and you put this in the middle so that when you're sublimating, it doesn't transfer to the back of the shirt because that's how sublimation works. It works with gases and the gases are very, very sensitive. So right now I'm just grab the seams of the shirt to line this thing up. If you guys have difficulty finding like the center point or stuff like that, you guys, they sell plenty of stuff on Amazon that you guys can um, use to help you find a center point. All right, so I'm just gonna reach in here and I'm going to pull this down just a bit. This is the one thing about garment decorating. The pressing part is, is, is hard because you wanna be as center as possible without you know screwing stuff up, of course. 
all right and this silky silky material is very very hard to work with because it's slippery and slidey all right so there we go that's placed in the right point so i'm just going to place this um the first one one right here and this uh four fingers down all right see my butcher paper right there that's about the center right there boom want that right there that looks good all right just take one more look at it right here because it is a forgiving material because it's kind of flowy it's kind of flowy so uh yeah and that looks right to me so i'm just going to place another piece of butcher paper on top i'm going to place it this way right then actually i should place it this way but see what happens is because the butcher paper is rolled up it it might shift and you don't want it to shift so i'm just going to lay it on top like that see how i creased it a little bit so now i'm going to come down and just let it do its thing for 60 seconds 65 seconds rather and as you guys can see it's counting down right here on the screen and when it's done counting it's going to open automatically it's what i love about this heat press nation um heat uh, signature series 15 by 15 auto open with the shore press once again sold out um, a little bit of time left i want you guys to see the auto open feature i just love it um, you guys once you get a heat press that has an auto open feature you kind of don't want to use anything else because anything else is just a waste of time to be honest with you um, but when you're doing sublimation and you have an auto open you kind of want to don't want it to pop up like an auto open does. Um, so it's, I, I, I would, I do think that, um, yeah, well, both of them are the same because manual press, when you pull it open, you're gonna get the same type of effect. So I'm just gonna catch it when it auto opens. See that? So I'm just gonna let it up slowly so that the sublimation stuff doesn't like move. Um, Cause sometimes it, uh, the gases from the sublimation could still be moving around. So I take this off. Then I take this off, all right, hot, and there you go. Look at that, look at that. See how vibrant that is? Look at that, sublimation guys, that is sublimation. All right, then you take the other one from the inside. All right, take that off. And here is our shirt. Oh, silky, silky, silky. Here's our shirt, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I got 15 more of these things to do. Let me know what you guys think, right? Looks good, right? Yeah. All right. Yeah, so one thing is for sure, you can get your, uh, your uh, Sawgrass SG-1000 or Sawgrass SG-500 if they have them in stock um, so you can start your t-shirt making business. But look, looks good, right? And that, my friends, is never washing out it's never washing out all right yep shirts came out great came out great looking good looking good looking good bunch of them looking good shirts came out looking real good guys all right guys so that is sublimation in a nutshell showed you guys a real quick overview Video is kind of long, but it's okay, guys. So uh, let me know what you think about it. Um, I think it, it's like magic. The way the color gets absorbed into the material. I love it, guys. It's uh, absolutely one of my most favorite ways to make shirts. I can't wait to get another a bigger space so I can get one of those huge, huge sublimation. So I can uh, printer sublimation, uh, like huge heat presses and a huge sublimation printer so I can just print one thing to go all over one shirt oh it's gonna be great so yeah i can't wait to do that but guys um give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already like i said and let's talk a little bit about the giveaways all right so we're having a giveaway again like i said once a month for the rest of the year for those of you guys who bought caps your names are already entered in i have your names right here as a matter of fact let me look my phone's about to die hopefully it it, um, let me see, raffle. Okay, oh, it's about to cut off. Uh, phone just cut off, just cut off. Anyway, guys, um, I think it's about six people. 
six or seven people that bought hats so far. So if you go on allenaway.com and buy yourself a black bear hat, a red one or a white one, you are entered in every single drawing that I have for the rest of the year um, up until the, you win. If you win the next one, your name is out. But if you buy one black bear hat, white or red, you're entered into every single drawing for the rest of the year. You can win yourself a heat press or you can win yourself a, um, a silhouette cameo four, okay? So if you're not interested in purchasing a black bear hat, the rest of you guys, this is what you gotta do. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Make sure you subscribe to Alan Alan Wade on YouTube. This channel, Adub Productions, and my second channel, Alan Wade. It's right on the YouTube banner on my uh, on my banner at the top. You can click on that, subscribe to the second channel. Then go to my Instagram page, um, follow me there, and like 20, 20 of my photos right on Instagram. Then go to my second YouTube channel, like I said, youtube.com backslash Alan Wade, and like 20 videos, like 20 videos, all right? Also, um, the silhouette cameo that we're getting, it's going to be either from Heat Press Nation or Heat, uh, heat uh, Transfer Warehouse. So just uh, follow both those pages, okay? And then come back here in this video, like this video, and comment, done. That's the last part. You got to come back here and comment, done, okay? And then um, your name will go down to be in the drawing for next month the first of the month okay so that is are the uh, requirements i know you some of you guys are waiting to hear the requirements but i kind of like threw everything off to see who was really watching who really wasn't so give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and don't forget if you haven't purchased your sawgrass sg500 or sg1000 yet use my heat transfer house link in the description below so you can start sublimating and making money guys get a subscription to vexels vexels.com Use my Vexels link down in the description below. Get a subscription to Vexels and you can access all their library, their whole entire library and have all those files so that you can start right away. You can, they're royalty free. Get a subscription to Vexels. You got access to their whole library. You press any of those things onto the shirt, any of those designs onto the shirt, put them on your website or just sell them out and about and you started your business right there. If you're not a graphic designer, that's the easiest way to get started. You don't have to have any graphic design skills. As long as you know how to use a printer, get a Vexels uh, membership, pick whatever pictures you want off of Vexels, download it, right? Print it out in your Sawgrass SG500, sublimate it onto a shirt, you're in business. Easy peasy, all right? Use my heat transfer warehouse link down below. Use my Vexels link down below. And guys, that's about it, man. I'll see you guys on the next video. Make sure you guys are entered in the competition for your chance to win. And I'll see you guys on the next one. It's your boy, Alan Wade. Talk to you later. Peace. Turn up that, crank it up. While I listen to the rest, when you're rocking with the best, baby.